Obia friends, lovers of freedom across the world, welcome you to this uh, very quick broadcast. It's a very quick one, I'm not going to take much of your time, but just got to take some few moments to share some important uh, views with you. Wherever you are watching me from, Please, I urge you to like and share the program. Share to your platform. Share to family and friends. Share to everyone that is close to you so that we can be able to get this message to everyone. Today is Saturday. Wherever you are watching me from, I wish you a very happy weekend. You know, weekends are time that people have to relax themselves, take out time out of their work. Many people take their rest. But for those of us who are in this business of restoration of Biafra, those of us who have committed our life in speaking up for what is happening in Biafra land, we don't have a break. We speak at all times. As long as Shuku Hukabiyama gives us life, with every little opportunity, we preach the gospel. And today, I'm here once again. The restoration of Biafra is drawing very, very close. It's drawing very, very close. And as it's getting closer, it is getting more interesting. Very interesting. Every day you hear different narratives. And every narrative you see is pointing to the fact that something is about to happen. I have always said it in my programs that whenever you see the Zoological Republic uniting and speaking in one voice about a particular thing against Biafrans, pretending to be for or against Biafra, there is something they are seeing that you cannot see. Whenever you see the unity in the, in the contraption called Nigeria, when the politicians gather and speak in one voice, most of the time you see them, even the IPOB in Nigeria, both the haters, they join and speak in one voice. Just watch out. Something is about to happen. Don't rejoice. It doesn't matter what they are talking about. Whether they pretend to be talking about your freedom or not, do not rejoice. Just be careful. Be very, very careful because something is about to happen. That is why today I am telling you, in the situation that we are now, we are used hearing voices from all corners. People are speaking from various corners and they are speaking for the restoration of independence of Nandekan. They are speaking for the freedom of mass in Nandekan. Don't rejoice yet. Do not rejoice yet. The massive call for the freedom of mass in Nandekan that you are seeing today from the politicians, those who call themselves lawmakers and the governors, do not rejoice. There is something they see coming that they are trying to work against. But I urge you not to get distracted. It does not matter what you hear. It doesn't matter what you see. Don't get distracted. I have always said it from day one up to this moment that the freedom of Mazen Nandekano lies in what we do. The freedom of Mazen Nandekano lies on how we react. The freedom of Mazen Nandi can rise on our response. That is why I urge every Biafra, if you know what you have been doing in the past that got us this far, please continue to do that. Whatever you know you have done that has brought us this far, continue to do it. That is the solution to the freedom of Mazen Nandi can. Today, when you see the enemies of Biafra gathering and they are speaking, calling for the release of Mazen Nandekan. It is not ordinary. The restoration of the independent state of Biafra is drawing very, very close. It's drawing very, very close. About five months to go. You must not get distracted. I have said it that you cannot separate the restoration of Biafra and the freedom of Mazen Nandikan. And for you that is waiting for Mazen Nandikan to speak, 
there is nothing new that he will say, different from what he has said in the past. Mazin Nandekano has given us every single information that we needed. All you need is to go back to his messages and get the information you want. Now that he is in the territory of the enemy, all you need to do is to use the information you have to free him and keep him safe. Don't expect him to speak. They have come. You are hearing voices from all corners, from all angles. Many of those voices are not sincere. And when you have patience, just have patience for a little while, you will know why those voices are coming. This is not the first time. They have done it before. And then we continue to do it. Each time you hear a massive call for anything that has to do with Biafra, just watch out. Something is about to happen. As we approach the restoration of the independent state of Biafra, don't get distracted. Be focused. The only duty you hold today is to support the Biafran government the best way you can. If you have been supporting financially, increase your support. If you have not been supporting financially, please try and begin to support financially because in defense of Biafran land, it needs money. You can't defend Biafran land with empty hand. If you must defend Biafran land, it is going to cost money. You know we are dealing with people who control the wealth of Biafran land. The money they are using to buy weapon is our own money. Our wealth is in their hand. They are controlling and removing our wealth. And if we don't do anything, it is going to remain that way. Today, we have to rise up to free ourselves. How are we going to do that? We are going to do that by sponsoring the defense of Biafra land. The Prime Minister of Biafra, Republic of Malaysia, have drawn the map. And he said, after the calling of the result of the referendum during our, our convention, which is going to take place in November, December, after the calling of the result of that referendum, which is a mandate to the Biafran people, is a mandate from the Biafran people to the Biafran government. It is a mandate from the Biafran people to the Prime Minister of Biafra, Republic of Manizal. It is a mandate for the restoration of Biafra. After receiving that mandate, the only thing that remains is to defend Biafran territory. That is the only thing that remains. And that is the major aspect of it. You know the zoo can never go without a fight. They will never go without a fight. They will always put up a fight. That is why we must have to get prepared. That is why we must do everything humanly possible today to defend our territory. No matter what you hear, no matter what you see, do not allow anybody to deceive you do not allow anybody to tell you something different from what you have already known. One thing is obvious, that the Biafra land must be defended. They are going to come up with one propaganda or the other, as they are already doing. That is why I tell you, when you are hearing voices coming from right, left and center, many pretending to ask for the release of Mazen Dandekano, most of those voices are not sincere. They are targeting something else because they have seen what is coming. They know that what is coming is mighty, strong, and great. And they know they cannot stop it. So the only thing they can do is to bring their distraction. The zoo called Nigeria is master in distraction. They know how to distract. And they will do everything humanly possible to distract you. They will always create a program to drag your attention. Now, they want to use Mazen Nan they can release to create distraction. But the beauty of it all is that we have seen it all. And the person today who is in charge of the restoration of Biafra is a man 
that is focus. No amount of distraction that has not been thrown against our Prime Minister. They have thrown everything at him. All kinds of distraction, all kind of attack, just to distract him. But every time they come up with those distractions, he has always defeated them. They are coming up again. I want you to hear this and hear this clear. The freedom of Biafra, the restoration of Biafra is the freedom of Mazen Nandekan. Anytime you try to separate the freedom of Mazen Nandekan from restoration of Biafra, you are not being sincere. It is a deception. I have always said it. The only freedom that Mazen Nandekan desires and deserves now is a freedom where he will come out and he will not be answerable to anybody. It's a freedom where he will come out and he will be answerable to only the Biafran people. It's a freedom where he will come out with a cause which is put you. Anything short of that is not a freedom. And you and I know how consistent Mazen Nandekan has been in his demand for Biafra. That is why I tell you there is nothing you were expecting to say now that I cannot say before. Today, Mazen Nandekan is in the territory of the enemy. He has done his own job. It is left for us to do our own part to get him out. And I want you to know that everything you are hearing today about freedom of Mazen Nandekan is because of what the Biafran government is doing. The reason why you are hearing voices speaking from all angles and all corners is because of what the Prime Minister, what the Biafran people, what the Biafran government is doing. Because of the pressure coming from the Biafran government in exile, from every one of you Biafran that is watching this program, it is that pressure that you have kept, that pressure that you have kept on, that is why today they cannot be silent about Mazen Nandikan issue. They can no longer pretend. Today, they are speaking loud. They are coming out. No matter how they pretend, they cannot pretend anymore. They have no choice than to call for the release of Mazen Nandekan. It is because of what you and I are doing. Are you now going to stop what you are doing and say, because you are seeing voices, you won't do what you are doing again? If you do that, you must be the most foolish person on earth. I bet you that this is the right time for you to speak even more. This is the right time for you to campaign even more. This is the right time to stand more strong. Whatever you are doing before, you need to double it down. Double it. You don't slow down. Double your effort. This is how Mazen Nandekan is going to be released. If anybody is telling you anything different from this, it is a blackmail. Do not be blackmailed. Do not be blackmailed. Don't say you are not warned. I thank you, Kuoko Kabiyama, for the government he has given the Biafran people. It is the responsibility of the government to protect the life and property of every Biafran, including Mazen Nandekano himself. We are going to protect his life. We are going to make sure that he's safe and secured. We are going to make sure that he's released. So, whoever is coming with any propaganda and blackmail to make you think that he or she is the one doing the job, don't get distracted. Always remember that a lot has gone and a lot has been done. And because we have done a lot in the past, we will continue to do more and we continue to hang on there until the final declaration of the restoration of independence of Biafra. It is going to be made and we are going to defend it. If you don't know the strategy of the zoo, you won't understand what I'm saying. But if you know the strategy of the zoo, already today, they have already known that they cannot stop our Prime Minister. It is certain. They have planned everything. They use blackmail, they use propaganda, they use the diplomatic means. They went spiritually. They go to the extent of sending suicide bombers. 
but they did not succeed. And today, it is very, very clear to everyone that Mazi Simon Epa cannot be stopped. The Prime Minister of Biafra, Republic of Malaysia, is committed to the pursuit of the restoration of Biafra and it cannot be stopped. And because of that today, the only option they need now, the only card they need now is a distraction. They want to distract him. They want to drag him to a corner. And they want to pitch Biafran people against him. But I bet you it is not going to work because Biafrans, we have seen a lot. That is why I am warning you in hand. When you hear the voices that are calling for Mazen and they cannot release. Be very careful. Don't rejoice yet. Do not rejoice. So many of them we know are doing that for an evil agenda. That is absolutely true. But we are not distracted. But for us, it does not matter whether you call for the Mazen and for good agenda or for evil agenda. We appreciate your call. Keep on calling. Keep on calling. I bet you that all things we work together for our good at the end of the day. Whatever way, whatever reason they have in their mind, it is going to work our own way. Chipu Kukabiyama have a way of doing this work. And he has already promised that he's going to give us Biafra. If he takes using a Janja way to give us Biafra, he will do so. He can even use our enemy to give us Biafra. And as we proceed, they will continue to make a mistake. They will make a great mistake that will land us in Biafran land. The only thing you have to do today as a Biafran is to make sure you are doing your own part. Consistently continue to call for the independence of Biafra. Continue to support the cause of Biafra. Consistently do not get distracted. Do not get carried away. It does not matter what you hear or what you see. It is forward ever and backward never. We have only one and single agenda. One and only single mission. And that mission we must fulfill. Our mission is to save every Biafra. And when we are talking about Biafra, we are talking about the old southeastern region, the present south-south. Southeast with the lower Benue. Do not get distracted. Let the heaven fall. We will not change our decision. It does not matter what they say. It does not matter what they do. It does not matter their weapon of warfare. It does not matter their propaganda. They cannot stop us. We have already made up our mind what we are going to do. We have made our choice and we have choosing our feet and I bet you freedom is sure we are going to be free prepare yourself prepare yourself even more don't slow down remember I said if you know that thing you have been doing that carried us this far whatever support you have been giving to the Biafran government that brought us this far please double it same goes to everyone even our Prime Minister, I trust him. When you think he's slowing down, he is doubling up. We should learn from him. Borrow leave from our Prime Minister. Whenever they think he's slowing down, when they think they'll slow him down, he will double up. Whenever you think that he's not doing anything, <laughs> when he released the dragon fire, everywhere will be scattering. Very soon you're going to hear another one. But be friends, don't get distracted. We are almost there. This is not the time to walk away. This is not the time to look away. It is the time to stand up for what we believe. We are heading home. Very, very close. Very close. After the declaration of the restoration of independence of Biafra in Lati, Finland, December 2nd, it will be a different ball game. And these people are seeing it already. They know that Mazi Simon Epa is not a joker. They know very well what he's up to. 
it is not uh, this is not an issue of preaching they know very well who he is they know that whatever he says he's going to do they know that he's not uh, someone you can toy with that is why today you are hearing voices from all corners and i tell you some of most of those voices are a distraction don't get distracted whatever be the outcome you should always remember that one mission we have is Biafra. Whatever be the outcome, remember always that our destination is Biafra. And that is the only thing we desire. That's the only desire we have. Don't get distracted. Mazen Nandekano himself, the only thing that made him to put his life on the line, sacrifice his own parents, his own happiness and everything about him, is Biafra. So if you love Mazen Nandekano and you want him to be happy, you want him to have a genuine freedom, fight for Biafra. That is exactly what Mazen Simon Abba is doing. Thank you so much for watching this program. I appreciate you for being part of this very short broadcast. May Chukwu Okuka be my guide and protect you. This weekend, remember, we have a fundraising today. Be in that fundraising. As always, every weekend is a fundraising. Put your money where your mouth is. The only place to sow is seed today is in Biafra Recession. Sow that seed and you will never regret it. I appreciate every one of you. I thank you for being part of this program. May Chukwu Okuka be my guide and protect all of you. Biafra government, peace, unity, progress, and equity. We move. Airborne.